Good morning. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Marcus Conti reporting. The Grinch that stole Christmas? Nah. I don't think so. So I want to talk about the uh, stock market today. Also, I want to make a, uh, a disclaimer, which is, um, which is uh, standard when making market forecasts, that I hold no equity positions whatsoever. I hold no stocks, no bonds. I have no interest whatsoever in position, just as a disclaimer. Also, as a disclaimer, I was a licensed stockbroker in the 90s. I've traded uh, privately all the way up until 2010, uh, where I got blown out. That's another story. But um, just to, again, as a disclaimer, I want to read something from the uh, New York Post. Because the whole stock market thing is now starting to really, really boil. And uh, we, we're now officially calling it. A, a downturn All right, so my only my only uh, equity interest is in the American people and that's it All right. I believe that the what we're, we're what you're about to see is uh, is a good thing and it's actually a Christmas gift from whoever All right. so let me read I'm reading from the uh, from the New York Post that right? Wall Street hoped for a Santa Claus rally but instead got a Yule log massacre on Monday the Dow collapsed 653 points, or 2.9%. Now, Santa Claus rally is something that Wall Street has used all the time. It's a because of the Christmas season, people are spending money, and stocks tend to rally up. But this year, this is where we're seeing the crash in December. Because uh, it has nothing to do with the, the market's inflated. The widely uh, watched index, the Dow they're referring to, closed 21,792, down from the 2018 high of 26,828 on October 3rd. Nearly a 19.19% drop. Wow, 19%. That's massive, right? See, a few weeks ago, it was only down 800, 500 in a day or two. And percentage-wise, that doesn't really equate. But now, day after day after day, now and the chart indicates the reversal. Now we're in a full-blown uh, reversal pattern. So, but I want to talk about the psychology. That's what the that those are the numbers, right? Those are the, that's the evidence that the market is now in a slide, right? It's not theory anymore. Now the evidence is on the table. Everything is in price. Everything could be calculated in terms of the chart going down. Technical analysis, right? So investors and traders were hoping for the Santa Claus rally, a, a historic trend where stocks usually climb in the last weeks of December. But that seemed unlikely following Monday's rut, which analysts blame on Trump's trade war and its attacks on Fed Chair Jeremy Powell for raising interest rates. So now the blame game, blame game is starting. The government shutdown, a slowing global economy, and White House chaos. The only, the only one that was accurate is a global economic slowdown. Hence, Europe is on fire. Yellow vests. Evidence. People are fed up. What we're seeing here is a total breakdown in confidence, said Peter Cardillo, chief chief market economist with um, Spartan Capital Securities in New York, right? Now you're going to see all the phony baloney security analysts step in, defend the market and blame Trump, blame whoever, right? They're already starting. This is a chaotic White House, and there are worries about the economy heading toward a slowdown or possible recession in 2019. It's all about the trade war, not the Fed. No, it's the opposite. It's about the Fed and the banking industry choking the American people. The Fed needed to do what they had to do, and they did it. Markets lost confidence. That's not true. Right? Here's another one. Jack Albin, chief investment officer for Crescent Capital in Chicago, 
pointed the finger at Team Trump for the sell-off, specifically at Treasury Secretary Steve Munchen's call to top bankers Sunday seeking assurance about the economy. Okay, so the Secretary of the Treasury calls the six top bank CEOs. Now, I've been telling you all along, it's the banks that control the market. And who is the Treasury Secretary calling? The CEOs of the six banks to see what's going on. Because they control the market. They control the float and they control the liquidity. So Steve Muchin's reaching out to the CEOs is perfect, is, is totally explainable and totally justified. Right? And, and he goes on, this jack-off goes on. Between Trump's tweets and Muchin's calls, it is like the administration can't get out of, get out of its own way. Muchin's call in which he asked about the bank's liquidity backfired by sparking fear, according to the market, market analyst. Fear for who? Fear for them because Muchin knows something. Muchin has his, you know, in Trump, they know the pulse of the American people. And quite frankly, Trump has been lying for the last year, saying the economy is good. Wrong. It's not good. It's not in the numbers. So Trump is partially responsible for the inflatedness of the market. Right? His intentions were positive. He's pointing to Muchin's. His intentions were positive, but in a nervous market, it obviously didn't work, said Quincy Cosby of Prudential. All the, all the, they're all chirping in now. All the, the whole fucking team is coming in now, blaming. The blame game has begun. They didn't, this is Trump speaking. They don't have a feel for the market. This is Trump pushing back. They don't, uh, they don't understand necessary trade wars or strong dollars or even democratic shutdowns over borders. The Fed is like a powerful golfer who can't score because he has no touch. He can't putt. See, Trump is a fool for saying shit like that because it doesn't have anything to do with his stupid border wall, his measly $5 billion. When the market til tilts down 2 or 3%, that's... That's billions of dollars. Nobody gives a shit about his, his wall except him and the people. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, my iPad just crashed. Oh, shit. My iPad crashed. Oh, well. All right. So... There was one other part in there. So the blame game. Let me let me pick it up there. I'm already going on too long. Probably a blessing in disguise. <laughs> so Marcus Conti reporting on the stock market, the crash, the inevitable downturn, the bubble, the correction, the market correction bubble, reversal, whatever you want to call it, right? There was also a part of that um, piece that I wanted to talk about. Pelosi and, and Schumer are going round the clock now, also blaming Trump for the discontent in the market, right? So, look, all of the analysts and all of the brokers and all of these banks operate on a fraudulent market uh, uh, business plan, right? Their business plans are based on fraud, deception, um, you know, they, they violate, they, they tell you to buy when they're selling, Right? right? Right now, they're shorting the shit out of the market. They won't tell you that, but that's what they're doing, right? They're taking up short positions, so when the people start selling in mass, they'll make money on the way down, and they'll cover at the bottom. That's what they do, right? That's what all the trading firms are now going to do. You can't take a short position because they won't allow you to, right? So the fraudsters, what the takeaway here, I'm sorry if I'm yelling. I'm a little deaf. It's early in the morning. The takeaway here, my friends, is that you have the power, right? Right. See, the, mar the, 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 the players are now responding. You see how they're responding to the panic, right? And what is the panic? None of them mentioned that Europe is on fire, that they, they're losing a huge customer in Europe. 
See, when you see the uh, yellow vest, yellow vest parading through Paris, you see McDonald's, you see Starbucks, you see all the banks. Paris is no different than New York, right? All the cities of Europe are connected to our equity markets, the U.S. equity markets. Not so much the British markets, but the U.S. equity markets and the U.S. banks are, you know, all those companies I just mentioned are on the New York Stock Exchange, they're on the Dow, they're on the NASDAQ. I take a step back. Christmas Day, right? This is my Chris. This is our Christmas gift, right? Because look, only seventy percent, seventy percent of the country is already, already boxed out of equities anyway, right? You got burned in two thousand eight. You have no money. You got four hundred dollars in your pocket, right? What do you give a shit about stocks, right? Why do you care, right? You want to see the thing crumble, right? You want to see it crash because, the, twenty nine percent of the population that actually is holding stocks, they'll recover, right? They'll recover. They'll, they'll be fine. Don't worry about them. The 1% is getting absolutely crushed. The banks are going to be on fire, right? They, those guys, right, they can't support. They're going to kill the 30% that are holding stocks first, right? And then they'll go down. They'll start downsizing themselves. But they won't do it until every penny of the investor is gone. Right? That's what they do. Right? Right? So, so the, the stock market right, is, is showing us that, is showing us the evidence that the, that the economy is not doing good, that it's an inflated bubble, that people are so overwhelmed with debt that they don't have, they, they, they can't find jobs that pay the exorbitant amounts of mortgage. They're strapped down in a trillion dollars in student loan, 13 trillion in mortgage debt, maybe another trillion or two in credit card debt. People are getting screwed, right? And what brings it down? What, what have I been saying all along, right? What brings it down? faster than anything it's your boycott see when you stop participating they could blame each other all they want because the banksters business model is fraud the politicians are all we know they're all corrupt and they're all money grabbers right and the politician the banks are going to stop paying the politicians if they don't start bashing trump and and his anti-war policy and and his for the people thing. We can't be having that shit. We got to make money, right? So all of the corrupt politicians, all the corrupt bankers, right, could go down in flames very quickly. I say in a week. If people boycott, right? Yellow vest, that's a sign that it works, right? It's sweeping across Europe. Now, people are, don't want to put a target on their back. I understand. But... Yellow vest expressed in a simple boycott, right? An all-out, all-out stay-at-home boycott in the United States can bring this on rather quickly. And we need an economic reset in this country. We need a new deal for the American people, right? Monopolies, banks that own the corporations, that own the politicians, that own everything they own your house they own your job they own your retirement they own your health care they own everything right we need a reset to break the monopoly to bring it back down to size for the american people why do we tolerate the 99 percent why do we tolerate as 99 percent why do we tolerate a one percent hand job, you know, getting totally screwed. Why do we why do we tolerate it? Why do people continue to tolerate it? So that should be your Christmas meditation. <laughs> Meditate on that for a second, right? Think about it, right? 
on Christmas Day, right? The markets are crashing, right? What's most important? Food on the table, warm house, friends, family, if you still have any. With all this chaos, nobody even talks to each other anymore, right? Total breakdown in communities, right? That's what we need to go back to. A simple, a sick, uh, an economic reset and, and restoring the country to social sanity. Where there's music that expresses the, the will of the people. People have leisure time again. Art blooms. Small business blooms. People are not worried about health care. They get, you know, Medicare for all. Stop this universal bullshit. It's fake. Medicare for all. College tuition at city and state universities free. Term limits. Raise the corporate tax rate. Bring them down to size. Lower the military spending. Cut it in half. We don't have an enemy. Right? Cut out the big. Cut out those fuckers, man. Get rid of those bankers. Let them. Let them choke, man. Let them choke on this Christmas. Choke you motherfuckers. Choke. Merry Christmas. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.